2021 Woodbridge Classic, Newbury Park, yeah. on both sides, tremendous success. The boys again, team time national record, and individually Leo Young breaking the course record previously held by Nico Young, his older brother. The girls taking on all challenges, winning a tight battle against Louisville Flower Mound out of Texas, and also defending Division One champion Buchanan. Before the meet, you mentioned that, at least the way I understood it, you thought Buchanan might be the better team. Yeah. I was kind of surprised by that. So. I, that that's who I had. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the girls' polls a whole lot this year. You know, I mean, and I, I thought they were going to be the main team to beat. So okay. that's what we came in. But I mean, honestly, when you, you it doesn't really matter who you're running against. It's right. Just putting you put the numbers up in the front. You have to be awfully proud both both teams did so well. The girls, this was kind of their real coming out race. We saw something special at Cool Breeze. But right here, there were a lot more challenges on a much bigger stage. It's about maturity. What did you think of that performance today? I thought it was awesome. I mean, I, you know, I said it at Cool Breeze, too. It's like it's, it, it's time they stopped living in the boys' shadow. You know, they're their own team. You know, any other place where you don't have a number one boys' team, you would be the best team in your, you know, out of your girls' and guys' program. Um, you know, I, I think things are coming, you know, are coming around nicely. You know, a Sam McDonald to me put together a performance that she always could have and needed to do, where I, I don't think people quite were giving her the respect that she deserved as a 443 miler, um, which shocked me. But hey, you know, I, I think someone ranked her 80. I don't know. I, I was shocked. I said, how do you put a 440? But hey, you, I, I get it. She didn't run that well at Cool Breeze, but like, you know, we didn't also, we weren't prepared to run super fast there. I know a lot of teams weren't. Um, it's so early, but this is early, but we just made sure people were ready to run fast. Um, you know, there's, there's things to clean up on the girls' side, for sure, that are going to get better, and, you know, we'll just go from there. With the boys, I mean, everyone knows how special they are, yet that front four really pressing the pace. When you're that good, something can go wrong. You right. know, it's, it's almost like you, you can't get any better, right. but the kids all came through a big time. What do you take away most from that race? You know, they, they followed the plan. You know, we, we got to clean up our five, six, and seven. Um, our normal five ran in a rated race today. Um, he's coming off an illness, um, not injury-wise, but right. so he will be ready by the state meet. I can guarantee he is, he, if this was perfect for him, it was low-key, that's what he needed. Um, so we'll be ready, but no, these guys, it's like, it was hard. You know, they had a plan. They had a plan to move away from the pack and they, and they get rid of guys, and they did. But then when they have like 800 to go, it's like they're racing themselves. And, and that's, it, it's like, it's crazy because any of those guys could have won it and I didn't know what was going to happen. And I think, you know, I don't know, I, I think being that target, being that top team, I mean, I, I'm, I think we could have four guys in the top 10 at NXM. I think, I think we can do that. Um, I, I think people have been hesitant to rank individuals that many in the top 10. But these guys deserve it. Um, you're right, yeah. And, and, I, and I'd be shocked if I didn't see it. And, you know, our five and six and seven will be really good in November and December. So, as far as the, like the, your front four right now, is it a situation where really on any given day they can interchange, or is, is Colin usually number one? How do you rank them, or they're too close to rank? You know, that that's totally. I think Colin had a little bit of hiccup. He had a little time off. Um, you know, he had, he had something going on, but we, we, it was fine. He's totally healthy now and good. So he lost a little time. Again. Not the best week last week, so he came into this a little unsure, but he ran like 1448, 1447, I don't know what his official time was. 13. So, oh, I'm sorry, 13, yeah. 1338, 1337, I don't know the exact 47, I don't know the exact time, but um, I thought he would have that crazy kick at the end, he didn't really have that today, um, but I gotta give credit, I mean, Leo broke the, his brother's national record. I was just telling the guys, they go, we have the number one, two, three, four, five times in history on the very park, and three of them are from the same family. Right. So um, that's a, it, it's a, it's a good mix, you know. Um, I don't know. I, I'm excited. I, this gets me excited, I, and I don't think about track, but I watch this and go, I can't wait to run that four a mile, <laughs> indoor and outdoor. I, I want. We're gonna do something special, but we got to get the cross. The overall goal is November, December. I know I keep saying that, but that's what we want. We want December. We, we, need, we need to be our best in November, December. And I, I'm gonna, this is just the beginning of these guys. These guys are going to shock people. Healthy, they're going to shock people. 
Clovis Invitational. Are you guys going to do that basically in a heavy training block or somewhat tapered in any way? We do go in a heavy training. I, th I think a lot of teams do. I've talked to a lot of top teams and greats, and I remember, you know, I think I've talked to Jesuit. And I, I mean, they, they kind of do the same thing. You have to. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be crazy. Like, we're not going to kill ourselves that week, but we're, we're going to look at it as just another race as, a, as to get to, because just like when we had 19 with Great Oak, they got us there. We were able to get them at the merger of the state meet and the national meet, even though it was really close. But we want to be our best at the state meet and national meet. So we're, we're going to be good. We're going to, and we want to break. We want to average under 15 and break the national record there at Clovis. But at the state meet, we really want to do some damage and shock. Do a massac invitation or no, no massac? No mass we'll just we'll run round sack at the at CIF where we have to run. So pretty much Clovis and then uh, getting what, you're not doing county or doing county? No county. Clovis so never and run run, I'm not even run county with my JV this year. Okay. We have other stuff we're doing and we're going to Temecula Twilight. I think oh, it's cool. Temecula, uh, with my JV guys. Okay. Give them a chance to run fast because they don't get to do this here so they'll go there. Right. You know, and I might run some, not my, not like, you know, some faster guys that could run varsity and give them a chance to run fast. So. Okay, Sean. Again, great work. Keep it going, man. Nice yeah. job. There you go.